Hey, this is Mr. Tuan from Channel Public Library. Today, we're going to make a couple hypotheses on uh, two of our projects, big and small. Hypo a hypothesis is basically your best guess. So today, we're going to do our best guess on two experiments. All right, you guys ready? Come on. Okay, the first one we're going to do today is with growth capsules, okay? So we're going to see if hot or cold will affect the capsules and how they grow, okay? So my hypothesis, I'm gonna write it down, will be that um, they will both be the same. Since it is just water, okay? Will be the same, will be the same. I don't see whether they mean difference, okay? So it's just hot, I mean cool and warm water, sorry. And so there's two growth capsules. We're gonna put them in and we'll give them about a minute. And we'll see what it does, okay? A minute. Ready? Here we go. Just drop them in. All right, it's been a couple of minutes. Let's see how it's going. Uh, it looks like the yellow capsule is still trying to break apart. Ooh, the blue one has fully grown. What do you guys think it is? A car, a boat, a dinosaur, or a goat? I think it's a goat too. Cool. So I'm going to put it on the paper. I'm going to measure them, see how much they've grown. Okay. Initially, they were both the same length at about under an inch. Looks like the yellow one just grew a tad bit. It was trying to grow, so it's about an inch. But the blue one is a little over two inches. So the blue one in the warm water has definitely grown. So my hypothesis was incorrect. I, th I had stated that they will be the same regardless of the temperature of the water, but it looks like the warm water really helps uh, the capsule dissipate and grow. While the cool water, this little guy trying to grow still is not yet dissolved. So that was pretty fun. I hope you guys had fun doing yours as well. All right, keep, keep, keep experimenting. And remember, every time you do an experiment, use a good hypothesis or your best guess. All right, have fun. All right, this is a second experiment for this project. Okay, these are called shrinky dinks. And basically, we know, well, I know at least, heat makes plastic shrink. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I had a sheet of shrinky dink. I divide it by four. That way, I have enough if I make a mistake. I divide it by four. That way, if I have enough, I can um, <laughs> do another one. And all, all you really need to do is I just printed some thing out from the internet. I traced it. I colored it with a permanent marker. And now I am going to cut it out. But before you cut it out, I'm going to make a little hole punch, okay? That way, if I want to make it into a little necklace or something, I can just. But you want to punch before you bake it into the oven, okay? So I made a little hole punch, and then I'm going to cut it out. And I feel like this a quarter of a sheet is a perfect size. So this is how big. I'm actually going to measure it, okay? I'm going to measure it. I'm going to see how big it is. So if I'm right, it's about four and a half inches. So my hypothesis, or best guess, for how this is shrink is, I think it's going to shrink about half. So instead of it being four and a half inches, I think it would go in half. I think it'll be about 2.75 inches. They will be in half, okay? So that's my hypothesis. I have it ready to cook, okay? And so I'm gonna leave the measure here and I'm gonna go over to the little oven. And before you do bake it, definitely make sure you have an adult around to help you because you are using an oven and it gets a little hot, so be careful. Okay, so like I said, I traced this from a, something I printed from the internet. I made a little hole punch. I cut around the edges. And I actually try to cut it something where it's somewhat uniform. Because I found that when I made something super long, it just didn't really bake well. And it kind of like didn't turn out the way I wanted to. So we're going to go try to bake this. Come on. All right, the oven's set at 325. It's just a little toaster oven. And here's my little decoration, a little shrinky dink sheet i'm going to put it in here and we're going to hope that it turns out and shrinks in a couple of minutes it shouldn't take too long 
okay then when it comes out you will see how small it shrunk oh wow it is curling up guys the heat is making it shrink okay and what we want to do is once it shrinks um, we want to give it another 30 seconds after it flattens out and then we should be able to take it out of the oven and let it cool off okay it looks like it's kind of curling up a lot of times it fixes itself so let's see right now it's curling itself up so don't panic okay it's falling itself down and super excited so once it's flat I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds and then I'm going to take it out of the oven for it to cool off I can see that's kind of leveling it off a little bit okay I'll take it out and let's see how it turned out so cute I'm gonna let it cool off all right we're gonna measure the final outcome Wow, it's shrunk more than I thought. It's under two inches. I had guessed or hypothesized it would be 2.75. So this actually shrunk more than half its size. This is pretty cute. I might make something for, like this for my niece. I think she'll appreciate it. Plus, she's a big Disney fan. I hope you enjoy doing those two experiments and using your hypotheses to guess, with your best guess anyways, how it would turn out. <music>